Okay, first of all, I'm not trolling, but this article really boils my blood. Rate hikes chew through my 50k pay rise. <laughs> we have a typical cliche premise headline grabber. Uh, husband and wife, before having kids, bought a property uh, to start their property accumulation journey. But now rates have skyrocketed and now they're in serious strife. And apparently one of these people <laughs> work for the bank. What the hell? Quite a famous Vietnamese poet. Adomame. It means stop subscribing to this victim mentality. Mortgage cliff, really? Again, I'm not trolling and I really feel for this couple, but I just want to address this fairy tale fantasy and I'll draw this out. Imagine Disney made a cartoon called Buying Property Dream. We have two people, two protagonists, the husband and wife, and then they made a wish that they want to buy a property of their home, live the Australian dream. And these guys were going through the desert, like, you know, borrowing Aladdin's concept, and they went to this cave and said, uh, abracadabra. And the massive boulder that's blocking this cave suddenly moves. And they find this ugly lamp, and this ugly mofo genie comes out and goes, oh, I'll grant you three wishes. What do you want when buying a property? This innocent couple, the prince and princess of this beautiful Disney story goes, our wish is that interest rates stay at 1.99% when we apply for over 30 years. And that property, which is a long-term investment, it shouldn't go into any type of cycles, which means there shouldn't be any ups and downs. And then the wife's like, I work for the bank. In fact, you know, there should, cycles shouldn't exist. This lady that works at the bank brings out her notebook and drew out this like bloody graph and goes, look, I want you, Genie, to keep interest rates at 1.99% over bloody 30 years, okay? No up and down, okay? I don't like that. Stick to 1.99% like that. And on top of that, I want my interest rate to be 1.99%, but then I want my property to keep growing and growing and growing and growing. And the Genie's like, bro, are you serious? And then the mortgage broker and the property agent or the banker that was part of this transaction for this couple was like, Mm, we don't have a Pinocchio nose. Basically saying things to this couple who had this Disney dream, and all the things they love to hear because that's their wish. This poor couple with that set premise of that Disney bubble around them goes into the real world and rates go up and they're like, Whoa, I'm so sad now. I have to wear three or four outfits and that can't fit my pregnant baby. I can't buy this necklace. I'm not saying it's their fault. They probably bought the property in that Disney circle bubble environment. That is why for those who contact me, I'll slap you in the face until rates will definitely go up you're buying investment property. You better expect that, batch. And then I'm like, do you still want to use me as a broker? Because three years later, if rates rise and you come crying to me, I'm going to slap you, man. Investment is a long-term thing, guys. Four, five, ten years. If rates go up, that's part of the game, yo. Don't blame Philip Rowe. Don't blame RBA. Don't blame the players. Blame the game, yo.